here I'm going to teach you guys how to winter fish in a river there's several different things you need to know for for good success number one is try to find clear water when fishing in the winter time you will have better success in the winter time fishing clear water as opposed to stained water now why is this Fish in the winter generally do not chase baits for as long of a distance or from as far away as they do in the spring, summer, and fall. Therefore, in dingy water, they're not going to see that lure unless it's right next to them, a foot away or less. But if you're fishing clear water, your chances increase that the visibility of that lure is going to get seen by the fish and they're going to come after it. Being that you're fishing slower in the winter, you're not gonna be ripping these baits. It improves your chances drastically if that fish can see it from 10, 15, or even 20 feet away versus one foot. So that's why you wanna find the clearest water that you can. The other important factor is wintering holes. Where are they located? On a river, you wanna find where creeks come in where 90 degree bends are, where the water, if you fish a five mile stretch of river in your boat, you wanna to go to the deepest possible hole that you know of, a hole that is 30 foot deep versus all the rest of them in a five mile stretch that never exceed 15 foot. Those fish are gonna be in that 30 foot hole. Learn how to read the water without a fish finder. Granted, they are nice to have, but you gotta learn to read the river without a fish finder. Once you find those wintering holes, you're gonna find the fish and they're gonna be in large numbers. The third and third factor and very important is whatever you think fishing slow is, do half of that. And by slow, I mean fishing one rotation one full rotation of the reel crank every four seconds very slow you want to keep that bait as close to the bottom as you can without dragging the bottom about a foot off the bottom and keep it there that's where those fish are going to be at in the winter time you're not going to catch them on crank baits like you do in the summer you got to get down there half ounce jig heads three quarter ounce even an ounce you want to be near current but not in the current slack water that where the current is real nearby another very important thing when you cast a spinning reel you can't do this with a bait caster but a spinning reel when you make a long cast do not close your bail until your bait hits the bottom why when you close that reel and you're fishing 30 or 40 foot deep water your bait is going to pendle them back to you and you're going to lose half of your cast because you close that bail. It's going to swing back to you before hitting the bottom where if you leave that bail open, that bait will fall straight down and you'll get a longer retrieve back to the boat. A way greater distance and a chance of catching a fish more than if you close that bail. You will not get a bird's nest with a spinning cast. If you got a heavy of enough jig on there, at least half ounce or heavier, it will not backlash. Very important. All right, guys, I'm gonna get on the water. We're gonna see if we can catch some fish. I got minnows, worms, and I'm using half ounce and three quarter ounce jig heads with soft plastics on them. I gotta avoid that tree out there. That's for damn sure. Do not wanna get in that. <laughs> 